So then would you take um, three for everything? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. okay. be wondering what I do with all of the things that I pick up these garage sales. Well, I have as of now two antique booths, one showcase, and I also sell online. I sell on Etsy, Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. I'm going to have to start a pile. Please, can I start a pile somewhere? Is there a place I could start a pile? Okay, I just wanted to start a pile. Okay, if you do have like a box, I could start a pile. Start me a pile. If you'd like to follow me or check out some of the items that I'm selling on the online platforms that I mentioned, all the links to the places where I sell are in the description box down below. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm so excited. It's Saturday morning. The weather is finally a little bit cooler and I am happy to be out garage selling. I pulled up to the cell and I could not believe all the knickknacks. I practically ran out of my car. So let's see what we can find today. And as always, let me know what you would have picked up at this cell. Oh, what is this? Look, it's a neat little wolf um, display, knick-knackety thing, and it is very cool. They got $2 on it, but watch later, you'll see I actually get it for only $1. And I just listed it last night on eBay, I think for $17.99. I saw another one similar to it sold for that same amount. So that is what I priced it at too. I love wolves. I really think they must be my spirit animal because I see wolf stuff often and um, I always have to pick it up. How much are your glasses? How much are those glasses? Oh, one has it right here. Oh. That's set for, um, Okay, thank you. But all prices are negotiable. Okay. Yes, all prices are. Good morning. Oh my gosh, you guys, check out these vintage glass ashtrays. They were only a dollar each, and I picked them up because they kind of look like they could possibly be Blinko glass. Um, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be listing these today on eBay, and I'm going to do them as an auction. So I feel like if somebody uh, looks at the auction and they recognize them, or if you guys recognize them, please let me know anything you might know about them. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. So then would you take um, three for everything? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do these work? Yes. How much one for the little one? I'll take two dollars. Where I can plug these in? Yeah, John. She disappeared. Pro um, blue box. <laughs> no, he's back here. Would you do five for those glasses? Yeah. Okay, I'll take them. Okay. Um, yeah, like a little box. I could set them in. Okay, so she had $8 on that set of gold uh, glasses. There were six of them, and I got all six of them for $5. Hey, John, can I plug this in? Yeah, can you, is there, is that a picture for? I'm like, um, <laughs> <laughs> she said it out loud. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> we are sorry. <laughs> 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 you want to set that in here and yeah, I can yeah. put some tissue around yeah, there? Yeah, perfect. Good light. I'm sorry. Lay them down so they don't fall.
Okay, so here in a second, my camera's actually going to freeze, and we are going to be stuck looking at this man's booty. I am so sorry, but um, I thought you guys might want to hear the audio play out, so I'm just going to let it roll. Did you make your Texan sign? No, um, a lady made it. Oh, okay. That's neat. She yeah, she made me one of those, and I have a Margaritaville one. Very cool. Thank you. Good Thank luck today. You. Okay, you guys, I am back home and welcome to my laundry room where I've already been hard at work this morning. You can hear my dryer and my washer running, but we are just gonna ignore that background noise. Okay, so let's look at the items I picked up. So I did get six of these. Um, so it says the world, they're like vintage uh, map glasses. Very cool. I have a friend who um, is always messaging me, messaging me to let me know the value of some items I overlook, which I really appreciate her for that. Um, so thank you so much if you're watching. Uh, but yeah, pick these up. They had eight fifty on them or eight dollars, so I actually got six of them for five dollars. And I listed them. I believe I put put them up on auction for $49.99. Now, if I'm not sure about the value of something or if I feel like there's potential for it to actually get more than one bid, I will a lot of times do auctions. And let's just face it, auctions are a lot more fun. Um, you do have to wait a little bit longer to get your money if you're looking to make money fast. But for me, it's a lot of fun. I really do enjoy the auctions. Okay, so I cleaned these up. I actually washed all this stuff last night. And this ashtray here is real pretty. It's like yellow with kind of like some burgundy tint to it. And this actually weighs like two pounds, five ounces. It's super heavy. So um, here is actually the little cigarette rest right there. But yeah, how cool is it? I mean, like it looks like a triangle kind of, but then it's round. It's really, really a neat piece. So um, if you guys know anything about that, uh, please let me know. And I'm gonna be listing it here in a second. Um, the other one, this one is also heavy, not quite as heavy as the other one, but this one weighs like a pound and a half. So, and I didn't, I thought this one for sure maybe could be Blanco, but I'm not sure. I definitely feel like they're mid-century, but when I got home and I was cleaning, I started to like try to scratch this off, but then I realized it's some kind of etching. And I tried to uh, do a Google lens search for this little part right here, like with the pipe, it looks like a man, he's like, is he smoking a pipe and reading a book and, I don't know, there's something coming from the back. Oh, wait, it kind of looks like a bag, like, I don't know, like a treasure bag maybe? And these are like maybe the little strings from the bag and a pipe and a book. So if you guys know anything about that, please let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna be um, listing these two ashtrays. Now, I don't even smoke. I am definitely not a smoker. But for some reason, I am just drawn to the vintage ashtrays. I have no idea what it is. I just think that they're really neat. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of my pickups at the cell. Okay, so real quick before I let you guys go, as long as we're talking about vintage ashtrays, I thought I would show you guys these two. Um, now, I might have seen these before. I can't remember, but um, I did take them to my booth for a short while. They didn't sell, so I thought, well, I'll bring them home and I'll try and sell them online. So this one is super heavy, you guys. This one weighs like three pounds, three ounces. And it's a gorgeous like cobalt blue color. You can actually see some bubbles in there, but it is carved out here like, uh, you know, for ashtrays, there's like a little divot right here too. I meant for cigarette stuff. But um, yeah, this one is really cool. I mean, if you guys have suggestions for keywords or um, what I should put in the description, definitely please let me know. This one, I just don't know if I'm gonna sell it. I'm thinking I might donate it because it actually has a chip right there. And it did have green felt on the bottom, but with me washing it and stuff, it's kind of come off. It's still coming off. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna probably donate this one. What do you guys think? It's pretty heavy too. I think this one weighs about at least two pounds. So let me know what y'all think about the vintage ashtrays, all of them. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.